she's so heavy. She's only three months old. It was an unconventional news conference for these lawmakers who shared one of their political priorities this session alongside puppies and a cat. These these little puppies were were trucked up here and got here yesterday. Will be available. Oh, geez, let's see what happens. <laughs> this is they're just okay. meeting. <laughs> these bipartisan state senators and representative join the Animal Humane Society and 25 other animal welfare groups to show their support of the creation of the Minnesota Companion Animal Board. It would be a first of its kind state agency made up of veterinarian experts and animal nonprofit organizations. This board would regulate commercial cat and dog breeders and kennels, oversee the management of feral cat colonies, and offer resources to pet owners or shelters in need. We see how this bill will improve the life of pets and the people who love them. This is the third time that this bill has made its way through the session, and they're hoping that this is the year it pushes through, especially because more Minnesotans than ever before are becoming pet owners. Of course, we know from the pandemic experience, lots and lots of folks adopted uh, dogs and cats and, and other kinds of pets. There already is a board of animal health, but lawmakers feel they oversee too much. The existing board that we have has all it can do to deal with chronic wasting disease, with avian flu, with all the issues that are present in agriculture and animals of husbandry.